his first shows were unbelievable. I mean, people were winded by them. People walked out. Quite a few acerbic reviews. But everything else before paled into comparison. I think it was very much of a big inspiration from, for both of us. Um, in the 90s, when I moved to London, and I think similar for, for Peter, he was a massive figure within the, the creative world. And that's the thing about Alexander, I think his clothes are very emotional. It's, this coat is like based on a tramp, so it's based on someone who hasn't got any money, standing in the street, nowhere to sleep. You wrap it around yourself, you feel fantastic. Then you have all this passion and love. We didn't look at this as a documentary or a passion documentary, or we looked at it as something that was going to fill the big screen. So you're looking for someone who has a larger-than-life personality, who has that sort of like charisma and that sort of force of nature that McQueen absolutely had. <laughs> Try to give people a rainbow, uh, a selection of all of Lee's personality, all of Lee's side, the, the fun, crazy side, as well as the more dark and intense, and, and as well the, the creative mind behind all of that. I don't want to do a show that you walk out feeling like you've just had Sunday lunch. I want you to come out either feeling repulsed or exhilarated, as long as it's an emotion. If you, if you leave without emotion, then I'm not do, doing my job properly. To speak about the end of his life is, is one of the most difficult things because you have to treat it very sensitively. The fact is that for McQueen, the number of threads in his life that led to the moment that he decided to take his own life. Some of those came from childhood trauma, some of those came from the pressures that he was building up in him to produce as much as he did but also to keep wanting to go to a different creative level. And I think he reached the point where he felt he'd made his final statement in, in fashion. And then the deeply personal losses that he suffered of Isabella Blow and his mother. So, you know, it's a number of things that kind of led up to that moment. There's lots of people who say, I discovered McQueen. No one discovered Alexander McQueen. Alexander McQueen discovered himself.